guys, it's Huff. I am back again and this is going to be my version of the tag of polishes that I bought because of the name. Uh, this is, there was kind of an older tag apparently going around but it's kind of been given a little bit of a reboot. Um, so I have you know, quite a few polishes here actually. Not every polish I bought because of its name but normally when I pick polishes I pick it from the colour rather than the actual name of it. Um, but there have been a few that I've actually bought just because of the name, uh, not so much because of the colour. Okay, so, I have two here that were bought very specifically because of part of their name. Um, my favourite fruit is a pineapple, um, and so I bought Revlon's Pink Pineapple, which is a very uh, sheer, pinky peachy sort of colour. Um, it's not the best nail polish in the world actually, it's kind of shit. Um, but it has pineapple in there, so that's the only reason I bought it. And the other one is pineapples have peelings too, of course. Um, I actually really like the way this looks. Um, I have worn it, I think, once. Um, I don't necessarily have pictures of all of these. Um, if I can find pictures for them, I will insert them. Otherwise, you just get the bottle shots on sales. Um, so, those are both um, because they have pineapple in the title. Um, another one that every time I hear this one, I kind of have to laugh. Uh, this is L'Oreal's Sex on the Peach. I just love the name of that. And it's just a soft, peachy polish. It's not too bad. But yeah, very much because of its name. The other L'Oreal I bought because of its name more than anything else is this topper from... Um, they were doing like that whole line of weird glittery toppers. This one is called Hello Captain um, and it, I'm a bit of a, a sci-fi nerd so uh, when I think of Captain I tend to think of Captain Jean Picard more than anything else. Uh, yeah and this is just a really nice blue sparkly, blue and silver sparkly topper um, but I bought it because it was called Hello Captain. Uh, then I got this one here. Most of my polishes need a damn good shake. Um, this one is an OPI polish. And it's not generally a colour that I go towards. This is Brisbane Bronze. Um, I bought this because I live in Australia. And Brisbane is a place in Australia. Um, and also it makes me think of um, the Olympics and bronze medals. But yeah, that's why I bought that particular polish. Uh, all these Stone Cold I bought because of Stone Cold Steve Austin. That is really the only reason I bought this particular polish. It's, I mean, blue's a nice enough colour, but I bought it because it was called Stone Cold. Um, another OPI that I bought because of the name, which I've actually talked about in a previous video, is OPI's Hoodoo Voodoo, uh, because it makes me think of the Hoodoo Gurus, who are an LZ band who are like really, um, synonymous with my teenhood. Um, so <laughs> that's why I bought that one. Um, and also in musical terms, um, Last Friday Night by OPI, I bought because I'm a huge Katy Perry fan. Um, and yeah, that's, it was one of the ones that I found that was from that particular, I think I have one other one, but that was the only one I could find whilst I was in kind of like a hurry. Um, this one is really vague and weird and probably not understandable unless you're an Australian. Uh, this one's from Ultra 3 and it's called Violet Rumble. One of my favourite chocolate bars is a Violet Crumble. Pretty sure you can only get them in Australia. <laughs> but that name reminds me of Violet Crumbles. It doesn't look anything like Violet Crumbles. That's what it reminds me of. Um, uh, let's see. Clearly, I bought this polish from Picture Polish because it has hollow in the title and I am a holosexual, so um, yeah, hollow on top by Picture Polish I bought because of its name. It's actually not my favourite polish from Picture Polish. I'm actually a little, little disappointed in it. It's, a, it's too dense to be used as a topper, quite frankly. Um, if I use it, I tend to just do like a whole nail. Um, 
bit of a shit to get back off again, but that is, that's why I bought it, is because it had a hollow in the title. Uh, an older purchase, simply because of its name, because I really am not a huge fan of this polish, is Fuzzy from Sally Hansen. It's one of those bar glitter toppers. Um, badly separates. It separates really quick. It's like a really thin type of formula. But I'm a Pisces and I tend to really like things that are fish or sea themed. I've got a few other ones that have like um, make waves and a couple of other ones that I bought because they're water themed. Um, yeah, but um, I didn't actually like fuzzy. I didn't like really how it looked, but I liked the name. So I bought it anyway. I mean, I've clearly used that a few times, but it's definitely not my favourite. Um, and I bought this one from Jessica. Um, this is a harder brand to get in Australia. I think I got this off of Cosmetic Capital. This one is called I Am Strong, which is why I bought it. It's, you know, occasionally you need to be reminded. Um, it's quite a nice icy blue with glitter in it. Um, but yeah, I bought it because it's called I Am Strong. We're almost there. Um, I have very few Morgan Taylors in my collection, and I haven't been hugely impressed by most of them. But all the one, pretty much all the ones I bought, I bought because of their names, because I really liked the names of them, especially the uh, Royal Collection. There's some really cool names. This one in particular, this is called Let Them Eat Cake. It's uh, pink and purple and silver glitter. Uh, very, very glittery. <laughs> a bit hard to boot up on its own, really needs to be used as a topper. But yeah, this one is called Let Them Eat Cake. And the other Morgan Taylor one um, links into the last two, which are both uh, Sinful Colours ones. This one I bought because it's called J'adore My Manny, which for a nail polish addict, anything that references that. Um, yeah, this is a pinky, red, and gold metallic glittery bomb thing. Um, again, it really needs to be put over something, but it is, like, really, really cool. So that's J'adore My Manny by Morgan Taylor. And the last two are both sinful colours. One of these, uh, Claire Gray talked about in hers, which is Nail Junkie. Uh, yes, I own Nail Junkie because nail junkie <laughs> um, bought completely because of its name also it's really gorgeous it is a really gorgeous polish but the other one I got from uh, sinful colors this one is called love nails and it actually pairs really nicely with nail junkie this is a little sheer though <laughs> it needs to be built up but this one is called love nails so those are just some of the polishes in my collection that were bought because of their names. If you want to do this tag, then go ahead and do it. I think that would be really great. I'd really like to see uh, Yuki Sano do this one. She was actually mentioning in one of her videos about polishes that she bought because of the names of them. Um, so it would be cool to see her do a version of this. And anybody else who wants to do this, get it out there and do more tags and get involved in the community. So uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos, like tag videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care.